Hi guys. Um, if you guys are new to my channel, first off, I want to welcome all of my new subscribers, and I want to thank everybody who watched my video and got it to where it is now, my haul video. I just want to thank everybody and welcome all of my new subscribers. And if you are an old subscriber, I just want to say that you guys know how bad I've been wanting to do a story time video. So here is my story time video. I have on my phone. Actually, this is my new phone that I got. Um, this is my old phone. The Samsung S5. Same phone. Um, this one kept messing up. So I'm sending it back to Verizon so it get fixed. And this is my meantime phone. So um, this story time is going to be about my scary experiences with men. Uh, yeah, and I have on my phone so that I won't forget. So let me just jump into it. The first guy that I'm going to talk about is a T-Pain guy. And if you guys don't know who T-Pain is, T-Pain is a rapper who kind of do the auto-tune thing i don't know i like t-pain honestly i really do and um i call him the t-pain guy because i think that he went over girls by telling girls that he knows who he said he knew he said that he knows t-pain's manager so you guys get comfortable um get your snacks get your drinks because this is going to be a video of all time so let me get my snacks let me find a snack first so I have my M&M's and my Snapple kiwi strawberry and let me get started so T-Pain guy I met this guy one day, um, I had to be 19 years old and I was going to school. Right at that time I was studying to get my GED and um, I had dropped out of school so I was going to get my GED and one day I was walking to school and he stopped his truck and he told me, I seen you walking from like a mile away, are you good? And I was like, yeah, I'm just going to school, school is like right there. I could like legit see school where I was, it was right there. I had to walk a couple of more feet and I would have been there. So he was just like, oh, you know, I have water in my my truck for you if you want it. And I was like, no, I just I just drunk a Powerade because around that time I really loved Powerades. I would drink Powerades like it was juice. So he he insisted to give me the water that he had. I didn't want the water. I told him, I don't want your water. Thank you. I don't remember how or why, but I gave him my number. It wasn't my cell phone. It was a house phone number. So, he decided to call me, and we chilled. I don't know if it was a couple of days after that. I think so. It was a couple of days after that. After meeting him, we chilled. Whatever. So... He told me that he was a, a producer. You guys see why I'm doing this. And he took me to this studio. This is when I lived in Tallahassee. And if you stayed in Tallahassee long enough, I think everybody knew T-Pain's family. Because honestly, I knew his brother's baby's mother, which is, you know, his niece. I knew his niece and her mother. And I've seen his grandmother, I've seen his mother a couple of times because she would go and get her granddaughter or whatever. So he brought me to this random studio and was like, oh yeah, I own this studio. And it was crazy because the guys, when he drove up, the guys were just looking at his truck like, who is this rolling up? Because he had tents and they couldn't see us. So we get to his house. Um, he had brought me some food. We get to his house and basically he was telling me about how he was managing this one girl but he wasn't managing her anymore because she basically he caught her sucking up one of the guys who worked at the um at the the um studio and i was just like okay what does that have to do with you basically he was having relationships with the girls that he produced 
and he was just like, I hope you're not gonna be like that. I hope that you you I don't you you wanna be with me and me only. And I just I just looked at him like I don't even wanna be with you. For one, I don't even know you. I don't even know why I got in your truck. Like let's not try to put labels on me. Not yet anyways. And so um he he let me listen to a song that I don't know if he owned the song or maybe he to this day I st no I don't know if he's a producer but I found out that that wasn't his studio but let me just get into it because I don't want to jump so he he let me listen to her song and the song was really nice and he was like yeah if um if you want to be like that I can get you like that he was like first we just gotta get these feelings out the way and I'm like. What are you talking about get these feelings out the way basically he wanted to have sex with me and he thought that I felt the same way about him like I wanted to have sex with him honestly I'm the type of person and I've always been like this I only have sex with guys that I'm with and even the guys that I'm with I've never had sex with so you gotta be pretty special to get into these cookies but um <laughs> um he was saying oh let's just get oh my god i just broke my poor eminem he was just like let's get these feelings out the way and i was like no you can just like take me home now so after he took me home i stopped talking to him like that like every time he would call me i wouldn't answer the phone and um what the freak is that a net it just flies like right in my face just sits there. I'm surprised y'all don't see the net. It's freaking retard. But, um, I stopped talking to him. And it was one day he saw me and he picked me up. I was going, that was when, that was a day, the same day I went and shaved half of my hair. And lady cut majority of my hair off. I don't know if you guys remember that video, but if you don't, if you've never seen it, then you can go back to where I had like, all of this cut I just had this much of hair left on my head because she effed me up but um that day I was with him and his brother and the whole time we were talking we were laughing we was having a good time he never told he never talked about being a producer to his brother that's how I knew he was lying because if you are a proud producer you would talk about it you, I mean, you don't have to talk about it all the time, but you shouldn't be afraid to talk about it with your family, even if they don't approve. So, he basically dropped me off at Walmart, and after that, because he and his brother had something to do, after that, that's when I went and got my hair cut off. But, I later searched on Google, and I found the, um, what is it, the producing place that he said that he owned and I called them and I asked them hey do you know this guy by the name of such and such and they were just like no you're talking to the owner right now so I found out that he didn't own that um that place he was lying and he was just saying that lie to basically try to get in my pants and he told me that he had T-Pain's producer's number right in his phone he was like if you want me to I'll call him right now and I'm like no retard so that's the end of the t-pan guy who basically tried to get into my pants and it didn't work out by the way i was 19 he had to be at least 30 30 something okay the next one is the liquor store guy this is another guy he was he was in his 20s that i can say and he went to the school next to the school I was going to, I was 19 again. Crazy how I be going through these experiences while I'm 19. Okay, I was 19. This guy, he sees me. He was like, oh my God, you're so beautiful. You should be a model and whatever like that and so forth and so on. So I was like, okay, whatever. Thank you. So I gave him my number, my house number. I wasn't stupid when I would give these guys my house number. So, um, I'm sorry, guys. I get distracted easily. 
But um, me and him hung out the first time. I I don't want to say this, but hanging out with him was the first time I ever snuck out. And it's kind of crazy because I was 19, so I was able to leave out the house. But he told me he was going to take me to the movies. And me not really realizing that, he came and got me around 12. The movies been closed. So we ended up at his house, and he was just like, yeah, you know, I got great goose. That was my first time ever having great goose. He was like, yeah, I got Coca-Cola. And, you know, we're just going to drink and watch a movie. So we ended up watching Medea's Big Happy Family. And what else? So he was like, yeah, this is my apartment. And, you know, that's my car outside. He had a nice car. Kind of found out his cousin came home. He said he lived with his cousin, his girl cousin. So as soon as she came home, it was just like he went from calm to now afraid. He was so afraid that um, she would find out that I'm there. So he locked me in the room. I couldn't leave out of his room. He would come and check on me every now and again. But he just basically made sure that she didn't come in. So I could hear her. She's like, oh, can I borrow your laptop? I'm going to go get it now. And he was like, no, 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 no. I'm using my laptop. I'm using my laptop. Because she was legit finna come in the room and get the laptop. And he was like, no, 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 no. I'm using my laptop. I'm using it right now. So I told him, I'm like, I have to pee. So I went and used the bathroom. And I'm just in the bathroom the whole time. Like, oh my gosh, how the hell am I going to get out of here? So basically, he got drunk. And he was trying to get me drunk to have sex with him. You see, you see where this is going? Like, these guys, both of them, that's how they're both alike. Because they kept trying to have sex with me. Well, not kept. They tried to have sex with me. And when I finally got in the room, he was trying to get me drunk. But I'm the type of person where even at 19, I know my limit. I didn't even, even reach to my limit. I got to the point where I was a little bit tipsy. Just a little bit. He was drunk. And he was, I was like, okay, well, I'm ready to go home. And he was like, I can't drive you home right now. I'm drunk. I was like, okay, well, I can drive myself home. No problem. And he was like, no, no, um, okay, I can't. He was like, okay. Uh, but before he took me home, he got really drunk and he pulled out his penis. And that was like my first time ever seeing a guy's penis. And it was so small. And he started jacking he started jacking himself off. I didn't know what he was doing because I was watching the movie at first until I felt his cum touch my hand. <laughs> I feel so awkward telling you guys this, but <laughs> I felt his cum touch my hand and I wiped it on him. He was so drunk, he didn't even notice that I wiped all of his cum. Even if it didn't touch me, I scooped it off the bed and wiped it right back on him. Like, here you go, take your cum back. <laughs> 